Hey everyone. So I just cut into this loaf of soap and I discovered that the entire thing has partial gel. So partial gel is when your soap goes through the chemical reaction when you first make it. Um, the center heats up and it kind of migrates from the middle to the edges and sometimes the heat isn't enough to reach the edges and so you kind of get this light ring around all of the soaps and I don't know about everyone else but I find it to be super annoying thankfully it doesn't happen to me very often because I live where it stays warm most of the year but it's been really really rainy and cold here and so this happened to a loaf. Today I'm going to show you how to fix it. So the first thing you're going to do is turn your stove on to 275 and let it heat up. Next, I'm going to take a soap pad mat and put it on top of a cookie sheet. A soap pad mat is a silicone baking mat um, used for baking cookies or macarons. Uh, it just sort of puts a a layer between your cookie sheet and whatever you put on top of it to protect it from the heat. If you don't have one of these, you could probably layer a couple of dish towels with some parchment paper on top, but you'll have to test that out because I've only done this method with a soap pad. Next, you're going to take the soap, and I like to put the most offensive side, so this white side that didn't get gel, I like to put that down onto the baking mat because that's the part that's going to get most of the heat once you put it in the oven. Line those up. If your gel is just right in the center then you can just put the bars, set them down normally. Then you're going to turn the oven off. This is very important. <laughs> Make sure your oven is off and set your baking rack to the highest spot. Put your soap in the oven and close the door. Hey, there's me. A little bit of advice, just sit in front of your stove. Don't go have coffee, don't get on the phone, don't go on Instagram, just sit right in front of your stove and watch your stopwatch the entire time. So after about seven minutes, you're going to want to check on the soaps and rotate them. So right around 11 minutes, I'm going to check on the soaps again. Might need a little bit more time, so I'll leave them in there for another few minutes. About 14 minutes, and I'm going to check them again. And I can still see a little bit, so I'm going to leave them in for another few. 16 minutes, and I'm going to check them again. So I think I'm happy with that, and I'll take these out of the oven. So you can see, you can transfer these to a cooler spot. You can see that the ones from before and the ones from after, and I'll just clean up the bars and they're good to go.